Welcome back everyone to another Coach Blaker video. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Coach Blaker. I've been professionally coaching for going on 11 years. I, that's an extremely long time, I know. What am I doing? Within League of Legends itself, I'm diamond in all roles, diamond two peak. I've coached all ranks from iron to challenger. I mean, I've seen it all. It's been an extremely long time. Today, we're gonna be looking at a dev update. I usually do dev updates and dev blogs because I want to share my opinion with you guys on how I feel the direction of League of Legends is going. Now, as a coach and as a high elo player, I love to have both perspectives. Usually they're always fighting with each other because what makes sense in a coach's perspective doesn't really make sense in the player's perspective and vice versa. And I love hearing and seeing you guys' comments as well and how you guys feel about these changes. Before we get started though, I have three announcements. Number one, I know I haven't been making videos, but I will be making videos again. Subscribe, that way you're notified when they drop. There will be guides and you better watch out because you're about to learn some stuff. Number two, I've relaunched my Discord. For those of you that are serious about improving and serious about getting better, that is a Discord to go. I will be answering questions in there, whether you wanna learn more about your role, your champion, whatever that Discord is meant so you guys can get a full understanding and always have support for your questions. For those that are extremely good at answering questions or are always answering questions, or I feel that are trustworthy, I will promote you to Blaker Approved. Basically this means you have a specialist of that role and any question you answer, everyone can always trust you. Now I'm not saying other players are not trustworthy, but I am saying they are Blaker Approved. Therefore, whatever they are saying, I 100% agree with it. You do not have to worry about us meeting in a session and saying, oh, that guy said that, or oh, I learned this, because they will be on the same page. They understand exactly what they're talking about and they know what is the correct advice to give. So if you're someone who wants to improve at the game, hop into that Discord. If you're someone that knows a lot about the game and would like to share your knowledge, hop into that Discord so that way you can become Blaker approved. The third announcement is I'm going to have a course. I don't know what it's gonna be called, but just call it Coach Blaker's course. Basically, there's going to be a beginner version, an intermediate version, and an advanced version. And there's a team version. So if you got a team, you can sign up for that course. But basically, this is meant for you guys to understand the game at its entire level. So from your role to your champion, every single aspect of that game, it's to fill up any holes you may have missed in your gameplay. This is a complete reset and a complete rebuilding. So if you feel like you're missing aspects or you feel like you are well-rounded, but you might be um, struggling somewhere else, this is the course for you. I will explain more about these courses tomorrow in a new video. So make sure you subscribe or join my Discord so you don't miss out but the signups will be from friday to sunday i will not take any more until the course is over the signups will be from friday to sunday so if you miss out i am sorry keep that in mind signups will be on my site but again more information on that tomorrow let's get into the video hey everybody i'm jeremy also known as right brightman hey folks i'm andre also known as medler and we're back today with another dev update so today is thursday may 25th and we're going to be joined by stephanie leon the lead for the skins team Stephanie's going to cover some updates on Lee Sin and Timo's ASUs, the Star Guardian skins that we're bringing over from Wild Rift, and some news about an upcoming Ultimate skin. Before that, though, let's talk about a few updates to Ranked and Clash. So, earlier this year, we made some changes to Ranked, including changing promo series from five games to three, mm -hmm. removing visible Ranked from matchmaking, mm -hmm. and splitting the year into two separate Ranked climbs. We're happy with how those changes have gone so far, Me too. and we've got some additional updates coming to Ranked during the mid-season in July. First off, right now the majority of ranked players are silver and below, with yep. only a small proportion of the player base above gold 4. We think that distribution is too skewed towards the lower end of the spectrum. You know, we should be making better use of a wide range of ranks to reflect how different skill levels actually are in there, depending on the player, you know, rather than clustering players in such an arrow band. So, we're going to be changing our ranked distribution. At the same time though, we also don't want to just put a whole bunch more people into diamond. I was going to say that. So what we're doing is adding a new tier, Emerald between Platinum and Diamond, but keeping the skill requirements for Diamond Plus the same as they are today. So if you guys don't know, I stopped the video and talk about it. So if you want to watch the, the whole video, go do that, come back here. Adding a new rank between Platinum and Diamond. The thing is, players need to get out of Silver anyway. A lot of players are stuck in the low ranks like that due to either they feel like they're better than they are, so then they don't actually ever improve, they are scared to improve, so they don't bother improving because they don't want to fail. Or players that are actually extremely good, but they're missing one thing that can easily skyrocket them out of that rank that they're in. And I've seen it. I've seen a player that I've coached go from silver to diamond just because they're missing out on a few things. So again, it's hard to do things like this because the last time that they did this, it ruined the rank system. The last time that they decided to say, okay, well, all roles get a rank, like they did the rank roll thing, it ruined the rank system. So I'm always sketched out when they do this because I've been with League of Legends for a very, 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 very long time and some of these changes do ruin the game. 
but I trust him. I always trust him until I see it. Um, but I don't know if this is going to help with the gold and silver thing, though. I don't really know what that's going to do. If anything, it's going to separate the platinums from the diamonds a little bit more, which I think is necessary. Now, if you want to hear more about that, we've got a dev blog out right now that goes into a lot more details. Another. If you guys want me to read that dev blog and make a video, make sure you thumbs up and make sure you comment below that you would like to see me do that video. Common frustration point is promos. Promos have long been divisive, and removing them between divisions was well received a while back, as was the removal of promos entirely from Wild Rift, and the lack of promos in teamfight tactics. Mm. You know, we still see ranked systems have a lot of excitement and goal chasing and so on going on there, you know, w without the downsides of the promo system. Agreed. So, we're going to be completely removing them from League as a result. Wait, so no more promos in League? No more promos. The funny thing about no more promos, and this is just funny to me, is that you're actually playing the same amount of games that you play that you were playing with no promos. The way that they adjust the LP or the way that they add a new rank or whatever, you still have to play the same exact amount of games. The only thing is, if you lose twice, you're not really hardcore punished. So obviously no more promos means that it's easier to climb, which I'm very happy about. But it's still funny to me because, you know, just the coach in me is like, well, we're still playing the same amount of games. I'm sorry, it's stupid. Okay, I know it's been a minute since we've talked about Clash, so let's just jump in. For many players, Clash is the pinnacle of competitive league. You know, you have a dedicated team, you can scout your opponents, there are extra stakes on the line, but there are also some clear pain points with Clash that we just have to address. I agree. So we've got some short-term changes in the works and some longer-term changes planned, but today I'm just going to cover the short-term stuff. So in the near term, we're targeting improvements to three major issues. Teams who forfeit when they lose the first round. Right. Clash's overall reliability and making Clash an experience worth planning around. Right. So to address these, we're changing the reward system to be based on how many games you win or lose to encourage playing out the full tournament. I like that. We're changing tournaments to be held monthly instead of bi-weekly. Okay. And changing how we monitor and support Clash servers and code to provide more stability. In addition, you know, ARAM Clash last year was really well received. So we're going to be hosting a few non-Summoners Rift clashes this year. He looked like an ARAM player. I'm just going to say, you look like an ARAM. You, you enjoy some ARAM. You a classic ARAM connoisseur. I know you are. Um, to <laughs> go back, I like that they're going to be doing it monthly. It gives the players a lot more time to prepare, but it also gives a lot more of a hype factor. Like, oh, we need to get it because we won't be able to play. I really do enjoy that. Also, something random just popped into my head. How would you guys feel if I had a Coach Blaker team? That, okay, not Coach Blake. A Blaker's team. I don't know. Something where I have five players, and this is going to be totally free. This is going to be totally free. Nobody has to pay for anything. But obviously, you get to improve at the same time um, and improve your solo queue play as well. But basically, we're a team of five that I have that will play in the Clash for me. And I will coach. We will meet every week, and I'll coach you. And again, this will help you in solo queue as well. It's not just going to be like, oh, it helps me a team. But it's a way that uh, you can improve, but also it could be fun. And every single time you guys play, I will spectate and I will record the video and upload it to my YouTube. I might stream it as well, but I might just upload it to my YouTube. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how that works. Right now, I don't have a stream, a stream schedule and I don't know when I'll have one, but I will upload it. So if that's something you guys are interested in, a Coach Blakers team, Please let me know in the comments as well if you guys would be interested in that. I think it'd be really cool. I personally don't like to play Clash as much. I love Clash, but I'd rather coach players. I usually coach Clash teams. So that's my excitement. So it's a win-win. You get to play for free and improve as a team and as a player. Um, and then you also get to just, I don't know, be on YouTube or on stream and enjoy yourself. Let me know if that's something you guys want to do, though. I think it'd be awesome to see how players improve and how a team progresses. I think it'd be really awesome. But let me know. Starting with a another ARAM clash in August. You can read more about the clash changes in a dev blog that's out today. Okay, that's it from us I won't now. do ARAM clashes. We're going to hand things over to Stephanie. <laughs> we'll give you some <laughs> updates on skins. Hey, everyone. I'm Stephanie, 100 Piece Nuggets Leong, the new lead for skins and former Insights human on League. I'm super excited to talk to you all about what's happening on our team these days. As you know, we have ASUs in progress for Lee Sin and Timo, and I wanted to give you guys an update on them today. For Timo, we're aiming to bring him up to Ooh, modern like standards that. by updating his spell animations and giving him a more expressive face. I like that. We're also going to be updating his voiceover, lore, and recalls. I honestly think Timo is one of those champions that could be an insanely cool champion. They just got to give him that. So I really love that they're doing this. 
For Lee Sin, our goals are to make his power source of dragon spirit magic a bit more apparent and to increase his gameplay clarity by giving him a more unique silhouette. We also want to ensure that he has modern animations and sound effects in this too. Okay. And of course, finally putting those neck memes to rest. So while we still have a lot more work to do, we're making good progress on their bases, and after that, we're going to start working on their extensive skin catalogs. Okay. As for their releases, Leeson is scheduled for the first half of 2024 oh, and so Timo far. in the second half. I knew she was for a more detailed that. look at their progress, check out the dev blog that we published today. I also have a quick update on the Star Guardian skins we're bringing over from Wild Rift. We've been making a lot of progress on Seraphine, Oriana, and Senna, and I'm proud to announce that Seraphine and Oriana will be available in patch 1313, with Senna coming one patch later in 13. That's Star Guardian skins. We haven't Star forgotten Guardian about Redeem Zion or Khan, it. and hot. they I will like be it. coming towards the end of the year. Legendaries are just taking a little bit longer to adapt than the epic skins. Crystallis Modus Leona is officially out on PBE. She's the first skin in our latest Mythic thematic. And hopefully now that you've gotten your first look, we wanted to share that Talia and Ash will also be receiving okay, the next right. Crystallis Modus skins later this year. I, f I have like two spectrums of that. I love that Talia's getting a skin, but also I feel like champs like Ash shouldn't be getting so many skins in one year. Um, I, I understand Riot's point of view where it's like, we need to make money, so having skins for champs that are popular makes sense because people play them and they'll buy the skins. Um, however, the other side of the spectrum is that, well, when you give a skin to a champ that has amazing skins already, I feel like it's a waste because it could go to a champion that just don't have many skins or just doesn't have that cool of a skin, right? So I feel like the best thing to do is make better skin, like just keep getting better. If the skin's not better than the last one you release, then you shouldn't have a skin. That's just my thought process. Who am I? I don't do sales, so I don't know. But that's just how I feel. I feel it would be a lot better if they did that. Lastly, I'm happy to share with all of you that Samira will be receiving an ultimate skin as part of this year's summer event. For some background, we started out making Samira's skin with a concept in mind and quickly realized that we wanted to take her design beyond the scope of a legendary. So we decided to keep adding more and more and we're really excited about how she turned out. So we'll be sure to keep you updated on all this in the coming months. For now, you can find more information on Skins and Samira's Ultimate in the accompanying dev blog. That's all from me, so I'll hand things back over to Riot Bright Moon and Medler. All right, that's it for us today. By the next time you hear from us, you'll have a lot more info about the new champion, Nefiri, and the 2v2v2v2 game mode, because they'll be on PBE. Also still hard at work at the moment on the Jax and Scanner updates. Jax? We don't have anything more to share on them right now. I didn't know he was getting updated. Also, don't forget that the first ranked split ends on July 17th server time, and then ranked will open back up again on July 19th. Okay. Be sure to check out all the dev blogs that released today if you're interested on ranked, Clash, the ASU updates, and skins. Now, we're also trying something else a bit different this time with a separate little video with the, there's a rapid fire question and answer format that, that'll be linked somewhere wherever you're watching this video. Uh, let us know what you think of it. It's something we're considering doing regularly if that turns out to be a useful thing. All right, if you guys would like me to look at that rapid fire, let me know in the comments below and I will take a look at that and I'll make a video of it. Again, I do like sharing my opinions and I love he reading and hearing your opinions as well as the State of the League of Legends. Um, I don't think there's a right or wrong. I think everyone deserves an opinion and I love seeing it. Um, even if it clashes with mine's or other players' opinions. Um, again, just the recap, I will be making more videos, so make sure you subscribe, that way you're notified for these guys to improve your gameplay. Make sure you hop into my Discord if you're interested um, in becoming a better player, or if you want to be Blake approved, and you can answer these questions and, you know, really share the knowledge that you have with other players that are having questions or are curious about things. And then, of course, the course, the Blaker's course. I will make that video tomorrow. Um, if you're watching this tomorrow, which is today, it's uploaded today. Join my Discord to get more information on it, and also that video will have more information on it. So uh, again, those signups will be from Friday to Sunday. I really want to reiterate this because I will not be taking signups after those days or after Sunday. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, know what I always say. Thank you guys for doing what? Approaching this like a coach. <laughs>